Welcome to r slash choosing beggars, where OP bamboozles a choosing beggar. Hello, my name is Blink, and I'm reaching out on behalf of Bachelor in Paradise contestant and social influencer Chase McNary. Since capturing America's heart on season 20 of ABC's The Bachelorette as the runner-up contestant vying for JoJo Fletcher's heart, Chase's following and fan base has exploded. In addition, Chase's presence on the current season of Bachelor in Paradise with over 4.7 million weekly views, has enabled his following to expand even further. With over 328,000 followers on Instagram alone, as well as an average of 250,000 weekly profile impressions and 30,000 average story views, Chase's Instagram platform has served as a valuable marketing tool for reputable brands such as Nivea and Bud Light and is only expected to increase as he re-enters the reality television world this month. As a Denver local and owner of Revel Social, Chase is looking to partner with an apartment complex in Denver as a live-in social influencer and absolutely loves your property. If this is something you would like to discuss further, please let me know. Thanks. So, <laughs> this guy's argument is literally... Hey, so I'm like super famous on TV, so give me a place to live for free. <laughs> I mean... Honestly, I'm not trying to flex here, but I can't help but just focus on the insanity that this guy has way smaller subscribers than me, and I would never dream of asking something like this. But if this guy's getting a free apartment at 300,000 subscribers, then at like 1.4 million, you guys should basically be paying my rent for me. So instead of paying your own rent, I would really appreciate it if you guys would just all forward your rent checks to me. Selling for $85, Canon camcorder. Is this still available? Yes. $40, you're gonna bring it to me tomorrow. Lol, don't think so. You can't be selling stuff and not be willing to negotiate. The buyer makes the rules, so agree with it or F off and don't sell your junk. WTF, are you being serious, my dude? $40, and you're bringing it to me tomorrow. Accept the offer because nobody else is going to buy your sucky camera. I don't have time for your tweaker BS. The flip? Stop wasting my time and you aren't going to sell your junk if you're being a dick to buyers. Stop contacting me. $40 and you're going to bring it to my workplace tomorrow. You need to be flexible when selling instead of having a stick up your butt. Yes, because clearly OP is the one with the stick up their butt here. Selling 2008 sedan for $4,000. I'll give you $950 right now. No questions asked. Take it or leave it. Every second you wait on this offer, I drop the price by $50. The ball's in your court. And this choosing beggar sent this message at 9.50 p.m. So at 9.53 p.m. OP replies, Huh. <laughs> So your offer is already at zero? No, still 950. Take it or leave it. Nope, I only had 20 seconds to respond. Shoot, guess I missed out. On this next post, OP makes custom cakes. Yes, 11 is fine. I would like to talk about the price. Sure, as we discussed before, I mostly charge ingredients. Finding fruit has been crazy, but your cake is still 55 bucks. I know we said 55, but perhaps we could discuss going lower. It's for a birthday, so maybe there can be a discount? I'm short on money because I've made large grocery runs, so I'll be staying home with my children during this scary time. I'm sorry, but no. I'm already losing money on this cake because the fruits you asked for on the cake have been scarce and expensive. I remained at $55 because that is what we agreed on. I'm very sorry, but if you can't confirm this price with me right now, then I will not be making any cake at all. I don't control the stores. It's completely unprofessional to cancel my order the day before I need it. What am I supposed to do about my mother's birthday with no cake? Selfish. Well, here's a radical idea. Instead of throwing your elderly mother a birthday party during the coronavirus outbreak, maybe you should just stop being selfish and not have a birthday party at all. Hello, is the MSI laptop that's on your story still available? Yes, I still have the one with one terabyte hard drive. Can I have it for 400 please? I'll meet you at blank. 
No, the price is firm. I'll only take the 800. Nah, I won't pay that much. Sorry, then I can't sell it to you. That's too expensive. I can't sell it to you then, sorry. The F is your problem, you scamming F. I hope that you never sell anything, you greedy racial slur. Effing scum. You offered me $400 for a laptop worth $1,000. There's no way I would accept that, especially after the comments you made. Because you're trying to scam me, R-word. Okay, I'm sincerely sorry for trying to scam you. I'll sell it to you for 300 bucks. OMG, thank you, bro. When can I come get it? Meet me at blank today at 7 p.m. Should I go into the Goodwill? Yup, now you can buy a laptop within your price range and talk smack straight to people's faces. Are you effing kidding me? Is this a joke? I drove 40 minutes. Yep, and you're gonna have to drive 40 minutes back. On this next post, an acquaintance messaged OP about a gaming PC he was selling. Is it still for sale? Nope. Why? I sold it for 1300 bucks. Why are you not going to sell it to me? I was going to do 500 But I sold it for more to someone else. Money hungry piece of sh**. School's out for four weeks and all I got is a smashed iPad, you effer. Lol, it sucks for you. Can you draw for me? Thank you. Yes, I can. I take commissions. What's commission? Well, an order. It requires money just like any other job. You pay taxes? You're registered under government? Not really. I do this as a hobby and earn less than 300 bucks a month. So I don't pay taxes for it. You know that's illegal. How much do you charge per draw? It's not illegal where I live. I checked, but in the future, if I make this my everyday job, then I'll let the government know. I charge 30 to 35 bucks depending on what needs to be drawn. You can draw for me and my wife? For free, not paying you since you aren't registered. I don't draw for free. But you can draw for practice. If I ever want to practice and I have no inspiration, I'll message you. Hmm, okay, I'll need it by April since it's my wife's birthday, so do it by then. I'll do it whenever I'm free. I can't promise doing it before April. Where do you live? Why? I'm calling the police on you, bitch. You think you can get away with doing illegal stuff? B Absolutely. I mean, if you want to lose weight, I'd recommend a diet plan with a focus on calorie reduction. If you want to increase your cardiovascular fitness, I could make a plan for that also. Would that be okay with you? Yes, just give me a food plan and a cardiovascular plan. Sure, just fill out these forms so I can get a few more details about you. Okay, did that. Now what? I'll formulate a diet and exercise plan for you, which might take some time. It's 25 euros each. Is that okay? That's okay. Also, my gym is closed because of Corona, so I can only exercise in the park. Just make up one for that too. Okay, here's a plan I prepared based on the info that you gave me. It includes a weekly meal plan and exercise routine tailored to your ability. Feel free to check in on me if you have any questions about it or would like to make changes. Your total amount owed comes to 50 euros, which can be payable in two halves. You can pay it to me on PayPal at blank, after which the full plan is unlocked. This guy sends $25 and then refunds it 30 minutes later. I just noticed you refunded your payment. I apologize, but I don't do refunds. Haha, <laughs> F you moron, R word. I printed off the plan and got my money back. F you gonna do about it? Nothing. <laughs> just a bit of advice. Next time you scam someone, don't list your location in your bio and use your full name in your PayPal account. And then OP posted an update explaining that because he knew the guy's address, because he had his email and all of his information, he just reported him to the police. And apparently the police are looking into it, so things might not turn out so well for this choosing beggar. Digital art commissions open. Is this still available? Hello? Yes, what would you like to commission? You see, my daughter just lost her little bunny. The neighbor's dog killed him and she's really sad. There's nothing to distract her from the pain of losing her little best friend. She's only eight. Sweet little girl. I'm so sorry to hear that. I would be more than happy to do a portrait of the bunny. I would need reference pictures as a start. Payment is due up front and the commission will be sent to you in two to three days. Let me know. Thank you. With the coronavirus going on, I can't pay right now. I'm wondering if you can do it for free? We're all going through rough times and doing one for free for a little girl won't hurt you at all. 
Your price is not that much, so it won't be a huge loss on your part. I'm sorry to hear that, but I'm currently not offering my services for free. I was laid off and need to buy medications and lots of other essentials. My prices are this low currently because I'm trying to get enough to get my medications. My price isn't a lot to you, but it's a lot for me. These paintings take me a few hours each, so I'd be working minimum wage for them. I'm so sorry for your loss. Everyone is quarantined, so I don't understand why you can't do one for free for a little girl. I'm disgusted by people like you in this type of crisis. You can never help the needy ones unless you're getting paid. Hope you get corona, you greedy, selfish grunt. Your family, too. Your art is ugly. Disgusting. You're probably one of the people that bought all the toilet paper and hand sanitizer. F you. I would love to get coronavirus and go cough on people like you. My daughter will grow up to be a doctor someday, and I hope one day you won't regret putting a smile on her face. I hope people won't go up to her and ask her to work for free. Bye, weird lady. She will have a real job saving lives, not trying to rob people for art. How long did that take you to learn? One to two weeks? And you want people to pay? You should be doing your part during this pandemic and make people stay. You think people will buy art right now? What a joke. Like I said, hope you and other greedy mother effers get corona. You have all the time in the world right now to do one illustration for free. You're heartless. You're a very inconsiderate butthole. Your art is junk and I hope you receive bad karma. Really praying no one buys from you. What the actual f***? Lady, if you think learning art takes one to two weeks, then why don't you spend the quarantine teaching yourself art so you don't have to harass poor innocent artists for free art? These are actual complaints received by Thomas Cook Vacations from dissatisfied customers. One, they shouldn't allow topless sunbathing on the beach. It was very distracting for my husband who just wanted to relax. Two, on my holiday to Goa in India, I was disgusted to find that almost every restaurant served curry. I don't like spicy food. Three, we went on holiday to Spain and had a problem with the taxi drivers as they were all Spanish. Four, we booked an excursion to a water park, but no one told us we had to bring our own swimsuits and towels. We assumed it would be included in the price. Five, the beach was too sandy. We had to clean everything when we returned to our room. Six, we found the sand was not like the sand in the brochure. Your brochure shows the sand as white, but it was more yellow. Seven, it's lazy of the local shopkeepers in Puerto Vallarta to close in the afternoons. I often needed to buy things during siesta time. This should be banned. Eight, no one told us there would be fish in the water. The children were scared. Nine, although the brochure said there was a fully equipped kitchen, there was no egg slicer in the drawers. Ten, I think it should be explained in the brochure that the local convenience store does not sell proper biscuits, like custard creams or ginger nuts. Eleven, the roads were uneven and bumpy, so we couldn't read the local guidebook during the bus ride to the resort. Because of this, we were unaware of many things that would have made our holiday more fun. Twelve, it took us nine hours to fly from Jamaica to England. It took the Americans only three hours to get home. This seems unfair. Thirteen, I compared the size of our one-bedroom suite to our friend's three-bedroom, and ours was significantly smaller. 14. The brochure stated no hairdresser at the resort. We are trained hairdressers and we think they knew and made us wait longer for service. 15. When we were in Spain, there were too many Spanish people there. The receptionist spoke Spanish. The food was Spanish. No one told us there would be so many foreigners. <laughs> I've just got to stop at this one. Dude, when you visit a foreign country, you're the foreigner. 16. We had to line up outside to catch the boat, and there was no air conditioning. 17. It is your duty as a tour operator to advise us of noisy or unruly guests before we travel. 18. I was bitten by a mosquito. The brochure didn't mention mosquitoes. 
19. My fiancé and I requested twin beds when we booked, but instead we were placed in a room with a king bed. We now hold you responsible and want to be reimbursed for the fact that I became pregnant. This wouldn't have happened if you had put it in the room that we booked. Today I learned that Spain is full of Spanish people. Who knew? That was r slash choosing beggars and if you like this video then hit that subscribe button because I put out new reddit videos every single day.